fans of high quality entertainment and speaking of fans I do have my air conditioner on so apologies for the background noise. Uh, first of all I am working on a parody video for one of my favorite reaction channels Andy and Alex and here's a little footage of what I'm working on and I got uh, approval from Andy that they're excited to see the video and and for my ASMR channel, I bought a hair dryer, $10, <laughs> but not for my hair. Uh, as some of you might remember, I had all these posters behind me when I did the live streams and sometimes when I just use OBS Studio uh, to cut out <laughs> any background noise. And I've decided, I, I took them all down and I'm taking the tape off the back of them, but it wasn't wasn't good. I was ripping the poster, so I used a hair dryer and that'll be in the ASMR video, which should be posted very soon. And also I'm going to be putting together, I bought these uh, I guess bristle board. I've got uh, six sheets of them, and what I'm going to do with the, all of all of those old vinyl records, you know, the kind of joke covers, I'm going to put a bunch of them together and put that on the wall behind me. So, and uh, I do plan on doing live streams again at, at some point. It's just I am in chronic pain, as some of you know, and I did do uh, on another channel. Two Legs, the Paul McCartney podcast. I did that a couple of weeks ago, and it was no problem doing it. I was there for 90 minutes, but afterwards, <laughs> I, not that I regretted doing it, but afterwards, I was in a lot of pain. So I got one new CD today. I have no idea about the sound quality. I did try and check up some reviews, but you know, there's always a one star and it, you sometimes can't even go by reviews. It is, yes, beyond and before the BBC recordings, 1969-1970. And it's, if you want to pause that, that's all the songs they do. I love, uh, well, I love, yes, period, but I love all the work that Peter Banks did with them too. So I'm looking forward to this, and what I'll do is I'll stop the video and just check this out quickly and let you know <laughs> if the sound quality sucks or not. And it comes with a book. with words to read. Lots of words. That might be easier to pause to read everything they do. Let me go have a quick listen and I'll be right back. Well, I just played a few songs from both CDs, just going through it a little bit. And boy, is it bad. No, it's a, it's mon it's a mono recording. Sounds like, you know, radio type quality, AM, <laughs> AM radio. But I'm glad I bought it. Uh, you know, you can still listen to it. I would prefer listening on speakers instead of headphones, but I usually listen with headphones because I live in this apartment. But, uh, but yeah, I'm glad I bought it. So, you know, just don't be expecting great sound quality and I think you'd be happy because it's great history. And the last thing is, I have bought, as some of you know, a lot of these on-track books. 
every album, every song. And I have quite a few of them now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen books. I bet you didn't know I couldn't count. And so I'll just very quickly go through them. So, first of all, I, I need to apologize to the writer Andrew Wilde for On Track, The Solo Beatles, 1969-1980, because I remember when, when I first bought this, I was disappointed in it compared to the other books. And just reading it recently again, it still is probably my least favorite of these, but it's still got some good writing in it. The only thing that kind of irks me is, you know, there's some songs that he just... Yeah, like Cafe on the Left Bank from London Town. A song about Paris. Was Paul re remembering his trip with John in 1961? Paul's bass drives the song, and I assume Jimmy's guitar flies above. And that's it, you know. But the other thing, too, is the Beatles solo, they had a lot of songs, so, you know, <laughs> maybe it could have, could have been two volumes or, or whatever, but just some of the songs only have, you know, like one sentence. And, but there is some good, good comments and reviews in this. So I would still kind of recommend them, sort of. And then all the other ones are great. Genesis, every album, every song. One of my favorites, yes. Actually, all of these are my favorites. This is my absolute favorite, Blue Easter Cult. And some of them only go up to a certain time, like with Elvis Costello, because it has, I think, 29 albums. It goes up to yeah, blood and chocolate. So just mainly the uh, Elvis Castle and the attractions. But it does mention some of his other albums after the attractions. Caravan. The Doors. The Rolling Stones, Porcupine Tree. So yeah, if you like reading, you know, somebody else's opinion, you know, I don't always agree with the opinion, but, and they also sometimes give information on the songs, which is very interesting. The Who. Kate Bush, even though I don't have any CDs yet. Somebody is uh, sending me one of them, and I'm sure I'm going to... So, you know, I've been check, you know, looking up more information on her and her albums. And I just got this the other day. It's my latest one. Jefferson Airplane. Every album, every song. And so far, I only have that one and that one. But, you know... And they always come with photos in the middle, for the most part. And this one is really good. Uh, you know, information I didn't know about certain songs. And he gives it his opinion on albums like Bark, which I guess is the greatest album. I remember one of my older brothers having that, but never really listening to it. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you look forward to the Andy and Alex parody. I don't know if Andy and Alex are looking forward to it, though. <laughs>